everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know, long time no see. I know I haven't been the best about uploading recently. There's just been kind of a lot going on. If you wanna know what's been going on, you can read the description bar down below. I'm gonna kinda go into it there. I didn't wanna start off the video with a really long explanation again. I just wanna get into the update. And today's video is gonna be my project use it up for my April goals, sort of how those went. And then also my May goals were kinda the same. Um, I just didn't have a chance to make a video about it, but I want to update you guys on how that's going. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just going to go in the order of how I wrote things on my list. And the first item was to finish my Travel Becca Evermatte primer, which is just basically a pore perfecting and mattifying primer. And I've been working on this for almost two months and I still have not finished it. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of put it on the back burner, just keep working on it. And when I feel like I'm a lot closer to finishing it, I'll put it into another monthly project. But for right now, I have not finished this one up. Next up on the list was to finish up my two three ounce lotions. Now I have the pumpkin latte and marshmallow comfort and then the honey apple and buttered rum orchard lotion. Now, as you can see with this one, almost completely finished with it. I believe uh, last time it was actually about to here and then I flipped it upside down because I wanted to make sure that this didn't happen to this one. And so at this point, I can't get anything else out of this unless I go in and scrape it and then stuff ends up on the thing that I scrape it with. It's just too much trouble. So I'm calling this one done. I think I could probably get another three uses out of it as it is anyway. But this one I'm calling done and this one should be done by the end of May. So I'll update you guys when I have my June goals and this should be done. The next goal on my list I actually completed and that was to finish up my Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake. And as you can see, this is completely flush with the packaging. I mean, there's a tiny bit more, but it was starting to hurt my lips and I'm just like, you know what? Calling it done. Feel very confident about saying that. And I think I finished it probably in the first two weeks of April. Like it did not take me very long to finish this. I think there was maybe half an inch, no, not even half an inch, like a quarter of an inch left of this product. So feeling pretty good about this one. One goal done for April. Next goal that I had written down was to hit pan on my Pixi Correction Concentrate. As you can see, there's no pan, but I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side view of what it looked like at the beginning of April and what it looks like now, because I know just looking at this there's quite a big dip from where it was so I'm pretty happy with that I'm hoping to hit pan next month like throughout June so we'll see how that goes but I'm I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along Next up, I have another finished product, and that is my Revlon Color Stay. I have been working on this, I think, I think it, I started in December, maybe the end of November, and it took me about three or four, four months to finish up. And as you can see, I have a couple of lines, and then basically, I think a week into May, I finished this. I think I had like maybe three uses after the first day of May. So I finished this pretty quickly. Um, very excited that I finally finished an actual liquid foundation. I think this is technically my first finished full-size foundation. So yay me! Next up on my list, I wanted to focus on my NYX brow powder. And I'll just show you guys. So this is technically two months worth of work, I would say. Um, but this uh, little circle was a lot more oval shaped and there wasn't as much of a dip on the side here. So I'm hoping for this next month coming up, I'm thinking the goal is gonna be to completely get rid of this entire side, but I'm feeling really good about how much I've focused on this. So I'm hoping to also hit pan on this at some point soon, this other lighter side. But um, that's just what I have in my eyebrows today, and then I have um, a brow gel over it, but I really like the effect that this gives, so I'm happy to keep using it. And that's my brow powder. So the next goal is probably one of my most frustrating ones that I have still not finished up and that is my Garnier Blackhead Charcoal Scrub. Now I really like this stuff but it's a tiny bottle and it's still not completely done. There's probably half of a use left in this I will say but why it has not been finished after at least a month 
don't ask me. This product is one that just does not, like, it just does not end. It has a life of its own, or an extra life, I guess. But yeah, so this should be done definitely by June, and I will happily be able to give you guys an update in, like, a week and a half that this will be gone. So that is the progress on this. As you can tell, I'm not very happy about it. Another lip product that I finished up on my list, technically it's a chapstick, but it's still finished, and that is my green baby lips. This one is like Melon Mania, and completely flush with the little plastic applicator right here. So that is another lip product done. My first colored lip balm product. I think I'm going to change that overall goal for project, use it up to just lip balms because I have a couple of uncolored ones, like just clear ones, but this is my first lip balm done for the year. Yay! The next goal on my list, which is pretty much a monthly regular, is to use four different lipstick formulas to test them out. Fourth one is in my bag, but I'll talk about it anyway. Um, so the first one that I have is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. These are a really nice whipped formula, and I would almost compare them to the new Buxom whipped lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Um, they're very light, and here I'll just show you guys a swatch. They're very whipped. They have a very good amount of color. Um, they're a little bit drying, but definitely if you don't like that super matte feeling, you would like these. And they have a very interesting floral scent. Um, but I did like this and I think I'll continue to wear these. I'm not sure how many more I'm gonna buy just because I don't need a huge amount of lip sticks or lip glosses or anything. But if you're looking for a new one, I would try this out. The next one that I tried out was one of my Maybelline, like the original Maybelline. I think it's like the Brilliant line or something. Um, this is just, oh, it's the Color Sensational line. I just found it on the packaging. Um, so this one is in Peachy Keen, and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna put on a little bit more. I'm not sure how I feel about these, to be honest. I think they're a little too glossy for my liking. I really like their matte ones that they do but the regular ones I think are not as pigmented as I would like. So I'll still use them, especially if I want something really light and not super like sticky or really thick, but I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of these. I think I'll stick to my Rimmel or even a Revlon or you know something else, but they're not bad. The last lipstick that I have to show you guys is my Urban Decay Revolution Matte Lipstick. I really like these like I can totally see why they're super popular and I am glad that they're now on sale because I can pick up a whole bunch of them um, I had never tried these before about two weeks ago and I really really like these um, so technically I guess this is part of May instead of April but I still chose four different lipsticks to try out but in any case this is the matte formula I'll give you guys a swatch they're really creamy when you put them on, and they do dry down to a matte finish, but they're very, very moisturizing. They don't get super dry. I am very, very happy, happy with this formula. Jeez, I can't speak. Um, yeah, really happy with it. I would say if you've been considering getting them, especially now that they're only $11, go pick some up. I know that the new ones are coming out and maybe eventually I'll try those, but for right now, really happy with these. And then the last one is a Buxom lipstick. It's their new whipped formula. That was the last one that I had tried, but it's very, very similar in color and in formula to these. So I figure basically everything that I said about these the whipped ones from Buxom are pretty much the same. They're just a little bit more slick. That I think is the only difference between them, but they still dry down matte and they're still pretty moisturizing. So those are my four lipsticks for the last two months. My next goal I did actually hit and that was to finish up my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips uh, eyeliner in black. And this one I've had for quite some time, um, and I can't even really show you guys anything else because it's just completely used up. It did start to break apart towards the end, but I would say if you're looking for some good drugstore eyeliners, you do have to buy them in a three pack, but even so, I think they're totally worth it to get the three pack. So I'm very excited that I actually finished up another eyeliner. 
And yeah. So the next goal that I have written down, I could say that I hit it, but I didn't really hit this goal until about a week ago, which is the middle of May. So I'm not saying that I hit it, but I technically did. But in any case, the goal was to hit the second ring of pan on my Physician's Formula Translucent Setting Powder. And I mean, I would say that most of the time it was sort of looking like this rather than hitting this outer pan, but there are these little rings in here. Um, and I just wanted to hit the second one. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't quite finish it up, but I'm thinking for next goal, try and hit that one and the third ring and see how far I get. So that is my Physician's Formula Powder. My second to last goal that I was hoping to hit, I'm not quite sure if I did, um, because I don't know the exact ounceage of this bottle, but my goal was to finish up 0.5 ounces of a perfume. And I think I technically said a roller ball, so that would have been half the roller ball. Now, I chose instead to use my DZ knockoff perfume. Um, I love the original and I love DZ Use So Fresh, but when I bought this, I couldn't afford the original, so that's why I have the knockoff. I would definitely say save your money and get the original. But I do like how this smells and I think it's a great perfume just in general. So, in any case, um, I basically use, I would say, maybe a fifth, definitely not a fourth, but I would say a fifth of the amount in here from here to here. However, this bottle does slope out at this point, so I probably used more than what I thought I was going to use. It's just, it's harder to see because it doesn't, you know, you don't finish it quite as quickly. But in any case, I feel like I did pretty well for having, you know, six weeks to work on this. And I think for next month, I'm going to choose one of my actual Daisy perfumes. I have a Daisy Dream Rollerball, and I think that might be what I focus on next. But in any case, I wanted to show you guys what I accomplished with my perfume. Last but not least on my list was to finish up my Glam Glow White, and I am going to say yes, I did finish it. There is the tiniest amount on the inside portion, like the inside wall, but it's so dry at this point, It, I don't think it's as effective anymore, so I just said, you know what? gonna call it quits. I think I did an awesome job finishing this up and this I did actually finish up before the first day of May. So I hit this goal and I'm very excited about it and now I can move on to some of my other purifying masks. So yay! So those are my April slash May goals and how I did with them. Feeling pretty good about what I chose and how I did just because even though I had six weeks technically, I really did finish most of the things in the four week time span and that's about 75% of my goals, which is really good because usually I have about less than 50%. So the fact that I'm now able to start having an idea of how long it takes me to finish a certain amount of something or how long I know it'll take me to finish something up is really exciting and it's kind of empowering. So I'm very excited to keep going with my project and up next I'm also going to be having my summer project pan uh, 2016 video and the updates with that. Again, it's kind of the same thing with that. I've just been really busy and there's been a lot of schedule changes and things like that so it just has not lent me the ability to actually film a video or videos but I have been keeping track and I'm excited to share with you guys the progress going forward from now and I hope that you are excited for me to be back behind the camera or in front of the camera and talking to you guys again because I am certainly excited. So if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!